CIG did put out an important message of the day earlier today saying today we're holding off on releasing a 3.23 on live as we finalize a few crucial updates one of which addresses the star c52845 our goal is to roll out a new ep to you possible late possibly later today as a live release candidate this version will undergo rigorous monitoring to ensure readiness for a full deployment to the live environment in the coming days so which means this very patch that we're talking about right now in this video is going to be a possible live candidate just to let y'all know i am doing a giveaway for the mirai pulse if you want to participate all you got to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video from now till the end of june the goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers and i cannot do it without you let's move on let's get straight into the patch notes this one they have a few more bug fixes further fixes have been put in to help reduce distribution center elevators dropping players fixed a major source of entity graph spam they fix an issue where the solar system wide armistice zone could keep players from using their vehicles and fps weapons they fix an issue causing many pu locations to get into a state where players would receive a 30,031 disconnect error indefinitely until they swap shards they fix an issue that blocks players from exporting keybinds they also fixed an issue that is causing settings menu clicks to click the Moby glass behind it instead along with this is two server crashes they fixed a client crash that could occur when joining arena commander engineering game modes they fixed a client crash while using Vulcan upscaling at Microtech's Dunboro outpost just to let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one